Exacto. Imagine a world where summer isn't just a season, yeah. but a state of mind. In Luca, we want to take you to this wonderful, nostalgic look on Italian summers. Classic human town. Pretty cool, right? Luca is about these two sea monsters, and they experience the world outside the water. Have you ever gone to the human town? Most of the story on land is in a fictional place called Porto Rosso. It just sounds nice, doesn't it? Porto Rosso. Porto Rosso. Porto Rosso. Porto Rosso. When people dream of going on a perfect vacation, mm. that's Luca. Literally what Porto Rosso is. Come on, I'll show you some more stuff. Pixar has a history of wanting to make our films feel authentic. And so part of that is doing research. Taking the team to Italy was such a pleasure. I promise you told me everything you see. Sorry, too much? <laughs> Never. Our Pixar research trips make us look like very odd tourists because we're looking at the kind of details that we're trying to capture. We want it to be like a postcard you can jump into and really feel immersed by. The laundry in the wind, kids having watermelon, and people having their espresso. Espresso! <laughs> I love Miyazaki's movies. The texture, the details, the way he draws has been a great inspiration for me. When I saw Enrico's short La Luna, he called our attention to things around us that are beautiful. I love that this film is an expansion of that feeling. It's so beautiful. Yes, we need it. Luca will, without a doubt, transport you to this vibrant world. <laughs> Watching it, I felt like I was there. Wow. <laughs> Makes you want to move to Italy. I think we should all live there. Sign me up for that, like, right now. Yeah. This is gonna be the best summer ever. Oh.